Hello, welcome guys, Zygrypt here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I will be talking to you guys about the five horror villains that will be making comebacks. And this is a very exciting list, guys. You guys will be very pleased to hear about a lot of these. So, the first villain is Chucky, of course. You guys should know if you guys keep up to date with my videos that Chucky will definitely be on this list. But, uh, um, I actually forgot to mention that, um, I'm getting some of this information from an article, so if you guys want to read it, down, um, it will be down in the description below. But some of the, um, stuff about Chucky, I couldn't say were confirmed, so I listed it as rumor, because I've been on this topic for like a year. So, I listed the stuff that hasn't been confirmed as rumored or possible. So, the first point that has been made is that it'll be a sequel to Curse of Chucky, which is actually, that's kind of, that's, a, you know, we already know that, of course, that it will continue off from where Curse of Chucky left off, which sounds fun. So, the next a point that has been made is that it is possible that it will be coming out in 2017 or 2018 which the author who did the article said it would be coming out in 2017 and that was confirmed but it has not been confirmed yet as I don't even think that I don't even think um, Chucky 7 is even in filming yet I don't think I think the script's done though but it definitely has been confirmed that it would be coming out in 2017 the next thing to point out is that the Bride Chucky will be back. As you guys saw from the ending of Curse, she was at the end for a while before shipping Chucky off. So, you know, we already know that the Bride Chucky will be back to help Chucky get his revenge. As if you um, saw my video where I was talking about the, the Chucky 7 page on that website, that it said that he was going to be trying to get revenge on his past rivals, which sounds fun. So, this one sounds pretty interesting. Um, it's that's the point at least. Chucky's children are rumored to make a comeback, which we don't know that yet. Um, the person that did the article said that it is confirmed, but it is not confirmed yet. I could only say that it is rumored. And if it does, I want to see how they implement the idea and how they use their kids um, to, for the movie. I don't, I don't know. I want to see how they do all that. Max horror villain is Jeepers Creepers. And so, um, this one's pretty exciting in my opinion. A lot of people are excited, but a lot of people aren't. And I'll be getting into that later on as I proceed through these points. The first point is that it is confirmed to release in early 2017 which this has been confirmed as um the director has stated that it would actually what's interesting is the producer i believe is actually following me on twitter which i found pretty interesting and it's, it's awesome as i'm very excited for this movie all right so the next point which a lot of people are very happy about is that the same director also known as Victor Salva, will be returning for um, this movie as well as he did the others. Which, you know, I kind of... Um, it, it's because of his past um, mistakes, which I don't think he should be repeatedly pu um, punished over. Uh, it's, just, it's just something he did in his past, and it was a huge mistake. And I don't think people should make it a big deal over it as he's just trying... To make a living making more movies so and I hate how they bring this up now because it just seems like a lot of people just decided to dig deeper into his like origins of his past and just find out what he did and now people are just constantly like hating on him and it's actually 
I I just say just leave the man alone, you know, just let him you know, just let him do him and you'll do you. Okay, so the next point is that Jonathan Breck will reprise his role as a creeper. The guy who did all the other creepers from Jeepers Creeper 1 and 2, he will be back. And that is some amazing news. And I can't wait to once again surprise us as he is scary in the other two movies. Next point, they want to go into the history of background of the Creeper. I want to know where the Creeper comes from and what he is. And, you know, this, this is good that they're going to go deeper to his past. I kind of, you know, I kind of want to know where he comes from and, you know, see this movie, you'll, you'll answer all those questions. And I'm pretty excited. Next point, this could possibly be the last movie, which is fine. We don't want too many sequels at once, because, you know, actually, I'd be fine if they did another one after this, probably. But it's fine if this is the last film, as you know, if, like, if they like ended off right, like maybe the creeper dies finally or something, I don't know. But you know, it's fine if this is the last film. And I want to see how this film holds up and how well it does compared to the other two. And I hope it definitely, I hope it's good. And I hope it can live up to the other two. Okay, so last point. It's said to be terrified of blood soap, which I hope this is true, as the other two are very scary. Something about the soundtrack and the photography, or however you say it, about the first film was very scary and it actually terrified me. And, you know, kind of same thing about Jeepers Creepers 2, as it was a very good sequel. I hope that it really lives up to this comment of being terrifying and blood soaked. Alright, next horror villain, Leatherface, which if you haven't seen the 2013 movie that is supposed to take on after the original film, if you guys haven't seen that one, I'm gonna say right now, it is awful. It is trash and I hope this Leatherface movie is not trash. I, I hope it. It's not. I hope it's not like um, the 2013 one is what I'm saying. But um, okay. So now that that's out of the way. Time to get on with these points. All right. First point is that it will be a prequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which there kind of is already a point or um, prequel. I mean. Original, isn't it? Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. I actually saw it, and it's actually pretty good. But what really killed it for me is the ending how he ended up in the back seat. It's like he has some fucking teleporting powers or some shit. It was just bullshit. And so, other than that, it was a pretty cool movie, but I just didn't like that part. I thought it was stupid. But I hope this prequel really live up to the original. Alright, so next point is that it is said to be extremely brutal, bloody, and disgusting, which the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies are, you know, they're meant to be that way. They are made to be brutal, bloody, and disgusting, and I hope it could definitely live up to this comment, and I hope it is definitely, you know, bloody, you know, I just hope it's everything that a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie should be. Next point is that Leatherface will be a lot younger in this installment. And so, I, th I think this is interesting to know that he's supposed to be a lot younger in this installment. And it's just overall interesting. And I wonder how they're going to do this. Next point is that it was supposed to be released in 2016, but it has possibly been changed to 2017. Yo, know, whatever year is supposed to be out, um, I wonder how they're gonna do it. Now, basically saying that it's supposed to release this year, but it might have been changed to next year. And so I hope, or I, I just wonder how, um, when it will be out, and and I hope it holds up 
to the other films. If it doesn't, then they should just stop trying to make these movies if it does not hold up to the originals and is awful. So please do it right this time. Last point about this movie is that the plot involves Leatherface and other psychopaths escaping from a mental hospital, kidnapping a nurse to go on a road trip from hell. They are also pursued by an equally deranged lawman. You guys should already know who this lawman is. The that sheriff, that crazy evil sheriff guy. I wonder if the lawman's gonna you know join him or I wonder how they're gonna do this. Okay, so next horror villain, Jason Voorhees. So then I I, I hope this is definitely a good one because I know a lot of people didn't like the 2009 reboot. I mean, in my opinion, it was, was alright, but I, I wonder how they're going to do this villain, this next movie and stuff. The first point about this one is that it's the second reboot, which, you know, like I said, a lot of people didn't really care for the 2009, there's some people who did, and I hope that this reboot is good. I hope it does well and is bloody fun, but we'll see. It will be the 13th movie in the franchise. This is very interesting to know. As it, cause you know, I wonder how, like, I wonder if they like make, name it, like, something like different, or, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> but, that, that's just interesting is the most I can say. The next point is that it will possibly be getting released on Friday, January 13th, 2017. And so this, this is pretty interesting. Um, but you know, it's kind of not surprising because haven't they already done that kind of stuff before anyway? We can't confirm nothing yet. Next point is that it will be, it will not be a found footage film, which is good because there's rumored to be a found footage film, but that is a bad idea. That is a no-no. Cause you know, you know, any slasher is not supposed. It's not supposed to be a found footage film. Any movie about a slasher or a horror icon is what I should say. I mean, there should. It'd be nice to see a few scenes in the perspective of found footage, but not the whole movie. I think it would just go downhill, and it shouldn't be done. Next point is that air. Wazowski, however you say his name, is the writer, which is interesting to know, and I hope, you know, his script is well done, and I just hope he wrote it right, which, you know, by the way, he's already completed a high commendable script, or highly commendable script, which is good, that is good to hear. And I'm just hoping that he wrote it right and that you know, it, it's done completely right. Which I think, if I'm not mistaken, Darmacini has posted about this guy or something. I'm not sure if it's the same guy. Because there's some guy that Darmacini, um retweeted his um, article thing or something. And apparently wrote a script for Friday 13th. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy though. Okay, that does sound like a familiar name, but um, anyway, um, last point, it might take place in the 1980s, which sounds amazing. That is um, good news to hear, but I, I don't know, even if it isn't, it's fine, but it, it, it'd be nice if it did, uh, it was released in the 1980s, that'd be very interesting to see, but you know, I don't know. Whatever it is or how it's supposed to be, it's fine just as long as they do it right. The next horror villain will make you shit your pants. You will be very excited. You will piss yourself. Because the points I will be giving about this particular horror villain are nothing but good news. Last but not least, the horror villain that I'll be talking about last 
is no other than Michael Myers. That is right, guys. He is coming back. And the points that I have for you guys are nothing but exciting and good news. So the first point that is being made, which is actually is going to be a relief to most of you guys, is that Rob Zombie isn't involved. But you know, a lot of you guys didn't like the remake. I actually thought it wasn't bad. I I thought it, I thought it was pretty good remakes, but there's a lot of people who didn't like them, and that is fine. But wait, guys, it just gets better and better. John Carpenter will come back as an executive producer. The man himself will be involved with this film. It's good, guys. It's getting real exciting up in here. But wait. It just gets better and better. It will not be a sequel to Rob Zombie's two horror or Halloween movies. What did I say, guys? What did I say? You guys could tell within my voice. It's just very exciting. For some reason, I said horror instead of Halloween. That's because I'm very excited, guys. This is just... Wait, guys. But wait. It just gets better and better. It will bring back the classic Michael Myers. What did I tell you? It's just exciting up in here. It's just too much to handle. John Carpenter may also score the new movie. What did I tell you guys? This is just enough. This is just too much, guys. This is there's too much excitement up in here. But wait, there's, it's just we're not quite done here. Mike Flag again, the guy who directed Hush is officially in talks to direct which if you haven't seen that movie it is on Netflix and I advise you guys to check it out it is a good movie and it's just worth checking out but wait I'm not done yet the new film will focus on suspense and scares what did I tell you it's just it's just it just it just, it just keeps getting better and better what did I tell you guys I just can't handle this. 2017 is a possible attended year of release. I hope that is true because it's just, just, it's just getting better and better. I just want to see this movie out now. Last point. It might also be another reboot, which is fine because John Carpenter will be the executive producer. He will be having some involvement in this film. You know, from my knowledge, it is fine if it's a reboot because John Carpenter will be having some part in this and that means a lot to Halloween fans. I'm very excited about this. I know you guys are too. What I tell you guys, just keeps, it just keeps getting better and better. Keep stuttering because it keeps getting better and better. Anyway guys, I just had to talk about this stuff. If you guys think I should keep you guys up to date with um, these movies let me know in the comments below and like this video as it means a lot and it's good feedback as I'm very excited for all of these core icons to make returns well Chucky hasn't been gone for that long but still basically some type of return I'm just saying guys I'm very excited but just don't forget to like and subscribe as I'll be trying my best to post more horror related content, especially Chucky, but if you want to hear more about these other horror icons, let me know, because I will, I'll listen to you guys. Guys, I'm out of here, and I just wanted to talk about this as it's very exciting stuff, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Come on down to that crystal lake Hold machetes, no pistol play Hockey mask and the same old jacket Switch it up, then I grab a hatchet Vike it in, swimming in my system Hide again, cause I came to twist them Higher than a killer drone above Fuck them all if they don't show no love 
They let me drown, they let me go, they were busy, right? Why shit tonight, I'm getting busy and these kitties die They keep on asking me what's wrong but they don't get replies All they get is a strike, it's always a surprise Don't try to hide, don't try to cry and tell me fucking lies You're getting tired so try to come with another bribe Why did you come in here the first place, kinda dumb You know what day it is, tell your friends, cause here I come